I think this is a really important um, area of detent, but in general, for, my, uh, for uh, on the web, decentralized things tend to be better than centralized things, and I think that uh, for lots of reasons, I, I, as I've said many times before, I think that it's important that social networking gets decentralized, in other words, lots and lots of different social networking sites, <clears throat> or social networking servers, or social networking, whatever they are, decide that this workshop uh, communicate together. Uh, I think there are lots of different architectures that uh, are seen, seen out there, federating existing social networking sites, or maybe federating sounds in the US conference uh, context sounds a little bit like um, I It doesn't sound very clear to people because in the US you have the federal government and then the states. Um, so uh, I suppose history, uh, decentralized in a way I like. Um, as a concept, there are lots of ways of doing it. I don't know whether the, the um, or maybe I'll be able to see you in a minute, even. Um, see, um, I don't know whether, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to what extent people will end up connecting to these social networking systems through uh, apps on their, on their device, which talk to many different servers or whether they will go log on to a particular website and that will do it for them. I think uh, the advantages and advantages in both of, the, uh, both of these, I think it's uh, very exciting. All the things you're discussing today, I would really like to be there and listen to. Uh, obviously, uh, privacy is really important. Uh, so far, the internet community as a whole has decided that there definitely is a problem, a uh, privacy problem, and it needs a technical so technical social solution. We've had lots of privacy workshops, it's good, uh, and, but we don't have a solution. We've had a lot of talk about accountability, privacy, being to a certain extent switching from a uh, lockdown model to an accountability model. I think that's, uh, so that is uh, potentially a really important part of it. And building that sort of thing into systems like this uh, sounds like a, a good idea. Uh, I would be interested where they're to be able to hear all about the, um, uh, the, exper the experience people have in tying existing uh, social network systems together. I think everything about WebID, uh, a universal sign-on, which, uh, which is simple and clean and, uh, and ties it, people down to somebody's RDF ID, is really, uh, to their self ID, is uh, really an important part of the, uh, of the solution space. So I hope that that, will, that sort of thing will allow people to, uh, the, all these things to share a common single sign-on, not just across the social network, things that we think of as social networking, but across all kinds of other sites, which, you may know, which we think of as being scientific collaboration sites, uh, or just getting work done, or you know, uh, sites, uh, the, the distributed, decentralized single sign-on, I think is really important. So, um, you have an exciting workshop. Uh, I wish I were there. I'm not. But I, so I will say to you, uh, uh, thanks for letting me have a, have a minute. Welcome. Uh, have great fun talking to each other. And I hope to hear great reports of all the things that you discovered uh, and decided amongst yourselves. Uh, so, uh, have a great workshop. Thanks. Really glad you made it. Um, we were we were joking beforehand that we were not sure whether the World Wide Web uh, did get the time zones right, but you did. So thank you for that. Um, now um, before before we really start into the conference, um, uh, I I like to I have to make one formal more formal uh, statements because. Uh, I'd really li like to give my thanks and gratitude to the 200 Ball Foundation who actually hosts the conference here and uh, allows us to, to be in this uh, really beautiful place, I think. I mean, they not only took care of good weather, but also...